Team USA failed to medal at the 2023 FIBA World Cup, but could help possibly be on the way? Well, sources told our Brian Windhorst that LeBron James and Anthony Davis, as well as Steph Curry, they are all interested in teaming up for Team USA for the 2024 Paris Games. Now, Curry has expressed interest, of course, to play for his current head coach in the NBA, Steve Kerr, in what would be Curry's Olympic debut. That is what sources tell ESPN. So back here once again with Cheney, with Zach, with Ohm. And Zach, you had an in-depth conversation on the wildly successful Low Post podcast with Tim McMahon. And you discussed a little bit about, okay, who would you like to see? So I ask you, who would your ideal, perfect starting five be for the Americans in 2024 at the Olympic Games in Paris? So I'm a glass half empty guy all the time, a pessimist. (laughs) So let's assume that the U.S. cannot convince Joel Embiid to play for us. So he's out. So if, if given that reality, I'm going Steph, Jason Tatum, Kevin Durant, Team USA legends all, LeBron James, and at center, I'm going Bam out of bio. You can argue for Anthony Davis, that's fine. You want to start him, that's awesome. Anthony Davis is amazing. I just, A, I'm, I'm more convinced Bam's going to be healthy, and B, with all that star talent around him, what I really want from my center is passing. Someone who can pass out of the short roll like Draymond when <coughs> Steph draws two. And Bam can do that. He's a little more switchy on defense at this point in his career than AD is in that lineup with those three huge wings is built to switch my next three guys and you can start any of them if you want I gotta have Devin Booker mm-hmm. I gotta have Jimmy Butler because I need a little I need a little nasty on this team and then AD so those are my first eight dream team guys but that's my starting five you can yell at me if you, you want know what? I need a little nasty that's what I was gonna say I need a little nasty it's true it's true should I go for my list Malika yeah, but he did eight so yeah he did eight but I'm gonna go five usually. but then he did his next up three which yeah. is cool too so here are my five and then I'll tell you who missed the cut appreciate you today LeBron obvious Steph obvious KD now it was tricky for me it was between Devin Booker mm-hmm. and Jason Tatum okay and I just went for more shooting because you know if you pass it to D book he's gonna get you a bucket in isolation Jason Tatum super talented so he's in my next up but I went with Devin Booker and to round out my starting five I have AD because if you go LeBron okay. Steph KD AD and Booker if those guys say they want to play it's going to be hard to be like you're not starting with all of those so two differing from Zach Lowe's my list. D Booker yes yep. and, and then and my Anthony AD Davis he went bam, bam out of bio. Yep, exactly. what, what about you So I am going to go for the dream team, and I am going to say that LeBron James is going to, and Grant Hill and company are going to recruit Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid will be my center. Uh, I'm going to go with Steph at point guard. I want the nasty in the starting lineup. I need a defender. I need someone to do all the dirty work. I'm putting Jimmy Butler at my starting two over Tatum. And then I'm going to have KD at small forward, LeBron at power forward. And, of course, Joel Embiid. Because here's the thing. You don't want Joel Embiid on the other side playing for somebody else like France. Yeah. You don't want to face him. Malika, Nikola Jokic is out there. How are you going to defend him? How are you going to counter him? Back out. Right? Yep. They have trouble with bigs. All respect to Anthony Davis, but I got Joel Embiid as my starting five. That's team. really interesting because the only thing that kept me from Joel Embiid being in my starting five is I understand the fight for nationality, and it's complicated. Right. Um, thought Cameroon even potentially because you know he goes back and does camps. France, obviously, as well. I thought that was a sneaky, interesting pick. Here's on. the thing that I learned that all three of us, all, all three of you, all four of us, all the, the, the fan of the nasty is what I have learned on this show today. All <laughs> you right. need a player that, yeah. Exactly, and Jimmy no Butler thing. certainly brings that. But no matter who dons the red, white, and blue next summer, it's just not going to be easy. And we were talking about this a little bit in the break today. I am curious, Zach's thoughts here. Do you feel like we're just, we're past the point? It feels like there's there's almost a sense, I don't want to say entitlement, but there's this thought that, okay, Americans are the most tal- have the most talented team, the most talented players. Are we past the point where they can just skate by, where we can just skate by on that? Yeah, of course we are. The U.S. Has, has won only two of the last six World Cups. And obviously, we don't bring our best guys to the World Cup. But even some of the recent Olympic gold medal games against Spain were close games down the stretch. We needed some clutch buckets to win those games. Look, you go down the roster. The U.S., whether Jokic plays or not, whether Embiid plays for France or not, The U.S. are going to be the favorites in the Olympics. The talent is undeniable. The talent pool is still the starriest 
and the deepest, but the U.S. has to play well and play hard on yep. both ends of the floor to win all these games. The margin is like this now, and it hasn't been that big for a while. You go back and watch the 2008 gold medal game, the 2012 gold medal game. Those are good games. Yeah, I think globalization has been a high priority on Commissioner Adam Silver's list. And we're seeing the fruits of that, you know, expanding the game in so many different places, whether it's broadcast rights or literally I love the Basketball Africa League, right? So everyone has more opportunities to compete. There are more pipelines to discover talent, and that means national teams are going to continue to get better. Yeah. That being said, if these guys suit up, the U.S. is absolutely favorites. Now, the challenge when you play internationally is no matter how talented you are, I know this personally as well, you're going up against chemistry. You're going up against strategy. And sometimes it's just trying to keep you as uncomfortable as possible and hang around just to make a push. And we saw that in the World Cup. And so nothing is a given. Nothing yeah. is just like, oh, you guys have the best players in the world. Go and win. It's way more complicated than that these days. I don't think it's a lock or a guarantee, like we said, when Dream Team won, or even Dream Team, Redeem Team. Um, I think you can have the most talented team, but you also need to make sure all the pieces fit and they work together. And that's a lot of talent in that USA basketball. And I think what I liked about that one team with LeBron James and Kobe Bryant and Carmelo and Dwayne Wade, they had a veteran like Jason Kidd to make sure all of the guys fit and got along together and the chemistry was there. That's going to be extremely important when they build this team. You can have the most talented guys in the world, right. but you got to make sure that they all know their roles and they're all going to play defense on every possession and sure. give up shots. There's only so many shots you can take in international basketball <laughs> in 40 minutes or whatever it is. So they got to sacrifice a lot. To be fair, I think... This team ultimately maxed out. This is not a championship team. If we were, we'd be moving on. We have some monster breaking news. Chris Paul to the Golden State Warriors as they try to maximize this window. CP, let's get it. I mean, I'm excited. It ain't got no choice but to be a whole lot of fun. Draymond Green is coming back. Back with the brothers, back with the band. The championship window is still open for the Warriors. This offseason, Draymond Green, he signed a new four-year, $100 million deal to return to the Golden State Warriors for his 12th season. And while he's back at his alma mater at Michigan State this weekend, our very own Om Young Masuk, he caught up with Draymond, where he discussed going for championship number five. Take a listen. You start talking about history, uh, five championships. I, I think that obviously it puts us in, in rare, even more rare air than we are in. Um, but it's the goal, you know, and, and by the way, the goal isn't to stop at five. The current goal is to just get to five. And, you know, it, it puts you in a, in a totally different conversation. I don't, I don't like to necessarily put a number on things, but I don't see why we can't get two more championships. Why not? I don't see anything in a way stopping that. There's great players in the NBA, I don't doubt that. But I don't see anything stopping us from getting two more championships, so why not? You heard Draymond. Why not? Why not two? Zach, were you surprised to hear this from him? How many titles do you think are actually realistic for this new look Warriors team? I love the confidence that the Warriors core has done everything in the NBA. Draymond Green is a Hall of Famer, but winning one championship is hard. They've won four. Two of them came when they had KD and a completely unbeatable super team. Winning one is hard. And as for why not, there's a big fella down in Denver who's going to have something to say about everything that happens in the Western Conference for a long time. There's age. There's injuries. Look, the odds are on zero greater than two being the most likely outcome of, in terms of how many more they have left in them. But the window is still open. They're in my inner circle of contenders this year. But if you're asking me zero, one, or two, I'm sorry, Draymond. I'm going zero. I don't feel great about it. Makes me sad. Mm. But that's, that seems most likely to me. Oh. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.